What's up guys, William Pan coming to you from Cupertino, California. Today we're talking about five strategies that you can employ today to help you develop more even and fluid singles. Stay tuned. Uh. Alright, what's up guys? Rudiment number one, the single stroke roll. Super, super important because it applies to not just rudimental percussion, but your concert percussion skills on a concert snare drum, uh, marimba, timpani, suspended cymbal. You're going to be using this rudiment a lot. A lot of the issues that I see players have stem from not having an even hand-to-hand -hand balance as they're playing. So here are five strategies that you can employ to help you develop a smoother single stroke roll. Strategy number one, add a tag. Whatever legato stroke exercise that you use, just add a tag at the end of it and try to transfer all that great rebound and motion that you've been working on to the tag. So for example, if you're playing eight on hand, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, tag, two, three, four, one. We're just adding four counts of 16 those at the end. You can also add on an eight count tag. One, two, three, four, one, two, Try to make the tag as even as possible and make sure that your hands are just as smooth and even sounding as they were when you were isolating them. Strategy number two, flow. Take the hand that's already playing and think of the other hand as being added to the hand that's already flowing. So for example, if you're playing 16 on the hand, it might look like this. One, two, three, four. Right hand's flowing and you're adding the left hand to the right hand, the right hand shouldn't change. One variation I like to do for this is if you're playing 16 on the hand, I play the 16th notes on beats 3 through 7. So it looks like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, switch. This gives you four counts of 16th notes, but you're putting it in the middle of the right hand flow. And so you have two counts of 8th notes at the beginning at the end to check your timing, sound, and flow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Paying extra attention that the right hand doesn't change and that the left hand is matching to the right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One. Strategy number three, off the left. So often we play all our exercises off the right hand. If you start your exercises off your left hand, you'll start to feel and hear your left hand as being the dominant hand. The stronger you can make your left hand, the more naturally balanced your hands will be left to right so that your left hand will ultimately be just as strong as your right hand. So if we take this timing exercise, for example, one, two, three, your right hand is flowing through the entire section and you're adding your left hand to the right hand. This left hand lead strategy you can apply it to any exercise and really any skill set. Not just singles but also axe and tap, doubles, play off the left more often and even out your hands. Strategy number four, layering on. So the pattern in this instance will be one, two, two counts of eighth notes. And we're gonna gradually add in the left hand. So if you add in one left hand, the first pattern is one e and two and. And we'll play that four times. One e and two and, one e and two and, one e and two and, one e and two and. Adding in another left hand, the second pattern is one e and two and, one e and two and, one e and two and, one e and two and. Adding in a third left hand, one e and two e and, one e and two e and, and then the last pattern is just straight 16th notes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one. Now we're going to add on a four count check at the beginning of the exercise just to get our hands moving. And our goal is to keep that right hand flow the whole time, adding the left hand, making sure the left hand is the same height as the right hand. Starting with the four count check. One, two, three, four. Pattern number one. Pattern two. course, you want to practice this exercise off the left hand as well. Strategy number five, double stops. 
This is the strategy I employed through high school and college to develop faster singles, but wanting them to be even as I made them faster. So for example, if you have this pattern, one E and a two E and a three and, if you just played the right hand part, you'd have one E and a two E and a three and. Left hand part would be one E and a two E and a three and. They're both playing the same thing. So the double stop pattern for this would be one E and a two E and a three and. One E and a two E and a three and. Now what you're looking and listening for here is making sure that both sticks are coming to the same height. If you hear flams, that means one hand is hitting earlier or later than the other. That's really common, especially if you're going faster than your hands can handle. And you're trying to make them sound as if it's just one note. Just like for double stroke rolls, you want both notes to sound the same. If it's a 16th note triplet or a 6th tuplet, you could break that up by playing triplets. You can combine strategies starting off the left with double stops. So try out each of those strategies, see how they work out for you. Combine, mix and match them, and don't be afraid to slow things down. Making sure your hands aren't getting confused and getting a really quality sample of what you're striving for, it'll be really easy to speed it up as you get more proficient. All right guys, I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, please let me know by subscribing and following and leave me a comment down below. Which strategy do you think will be most helpful for you? If you have a strategy that works particularly well for making your singles more even, please let me know in the comments down below. Like and share the video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. For more free lessons like this, check out huiyuanpan.com slash free lessons. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye-bye.